In this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite weapon that I've actually been using for most of the game, the Moonveil Katana. Now, this is my build in late game, and I want to talk about if it is still good and if I can find a replacement for it. Now, together with this build, I'm using two talismans that greatly increase my damage, the Stargazer Heirloom as well as Marika's Source Seal. Now, these two talismans greatly increase my intelligence and some other usable stats that actually really benefit me to actually get my intelligence to 60, even though my intelligence is actually only 50. Now, if you have a look at my fully upgraded Moonveil plus 10 katana, now this is one that has transient moonlight as its ashes of war, which is amazing. The actual attack power of the weapon looks very weak, unlike, you know, looking at the numbers. It's like, well, I've seen weapons that do twice this, like in terms of like physical representation of the numbers. But because this weapon is heavily built on intellect and dexterity, you want to have those stats at least up to 50 at the same time, or at least the same number as each other during the game to get the best benefit. Like this is my damage here. Now I'm going to take the Wondrous Physic, which is going to increase my damage for magic damage and everything. And you can see I'm able to take out enemies very, very easily. And because of the Ashes of War with the two slashes that you get when you do the kind of like sheath ability, you get the one that's a slash like that and you get one that's like the slash straight down. And it's just mental, dude. Like the actual normal attack damage of this weapon is insanely strong. I mean, granted, the weapon, these enemies that I'm fighting right now might be weak to magic in particular. I'm not actually sure what their complete weakness is. But if I, if I attack them, you can see here, whether I use magic or non-magic, you can tell the difference to, to that. Like, I'm simply just doing a ton of damage. And I'm going to show you another katana that is going to look even better in terms of numbers, but it's not going to perform to like 70% of the effectiveness as the Moon Veil is right now. I think my main appeal with this weapon is that you're able to take on enemies that are heavy guarded, like maybe shields or enemies like this that are kind of waiting for you to attack them. And you just do that downward strike and it just stuns them. And it absolutely gives you an opportunity to destroy them without you actually getting too much risk of like, you know, having to deal with bad things. Like right now you just stun them and you just keep throwing things out and boom. Normally, this guy is horrible to fight, and I'm going to show you from the perspective of the other katana right now. Now, this is another katana called the Dragon Scale Blade. This one has a ice lightning type of effect. It's really cool. The damage on it is absurd. It says it's going to do like 600 damage, like just in attack power, which is which is maddening. And it has a really cool Ashes of War that basically does this kind of effect. So you stomp the ground, and then you slash, and it even makes like a lightning bolt hit that spot there. And then you have lightning damage on your sword for, I think it's like 20 seconds or so. So, and you can do some extra lightning damage. It's not a lot. It's like 60 attack power worth of lightning damage. It's, it's not too much to brag home about. But if you look here at a normal attack here, we do like hardly any damage compared to my Moon Veil, which was doing like seven to 600 damage per hit. And the, the Ashes of War on this weapon in particular is like really slow. So it's, it's hard to use this weapon. I mean, even though it has like some really good things, it has like frost buildup. It has the lightning at the same time. But it just, it, it's not as effective. I, f I feel like I'm being pushed back here. They're like, you know, like, I'm, I'm used to fighting it with a katana, but without having the Moon Veil, I, I feel like I suck at this game. <laughs> you know, so the Moon Veil is, is really, really good for, for just being able to play safely and deal mad amounts of damage that is really hard to do with any other weapon besides the Moon Veil for me right now. I'm busy in the phase of testing different types of weapons to see if I can find, like, little kind of exploits or ways to play other weapons better than my Moon Veil. But right now, I'm having this experience that you see on screen with pretty much every other weapon that's not the Moon Veil. I'm actually struggling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the Moon Veil still as much as I am. I literally cannot put it down. It's like my, it's my safety shield, my, my safety weapon. And it's just, it's still so fun to play. I'm, and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.